don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the BK Cops 360 here, and we've got two reasonably big stories today. First of all, AMD is dropping the price of the R9 Nano to $499. So repeat, you can get full fat Fiji 4096 Dream processors. Um, it's a full, it's a fully fledged chip rated at 175 watts. You can now get that bitch for 499 US dollars. That puts it below the GTX 980, or at least on par with the 980, which is going to be a problem for Nvidia because the R9 390X, as is, is beating the 980 in certain cases, and that is not very good at all. Nvidia is going to have to drop the price of the 980. I mean, they already dropped the 970 price. If they don't drop the 980 price soon, man, AMD is just going to keep undercutting them really, really hard because they got the 390X. Now they've got full fat fridge, uh, Fiji sorry, in the R9 Nano, also at a very similar price point. So I would not be surprised if Nvidia does something about that very soon. Now, of course, some are saying, look, that is implying that Arctic Arms is coming soon. Ah. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, AMD hasn't really been selling a shit ton of um, Fiji chips, so I'm pretty sure they're just trying to sell more. Uh, the Nano just doesn't make sense to be 650 US dollars along with the Fury X. It just makes no sense because the Fury X is just a better card. I mean, sure, the, um, the Nano is smaller. It's a small form factor. It'll fit in body anything, and it doesn't have a water cooler, but it's still not, I don't know, $650. So I can just get the fucking... The water cooled one, well done by the water cooled one. But anyway, 499 US dollars, that's good. And the R9 Nano does perform around um, 390X performance. It kind of performs between the 390X and the Fury, or maybe on par for Fury. I'm not really sure, but all I know is that it's a good performing card, and at 499, that's going to be a great price point. Now, continuing on, we've also got rumors that uh, GP104, the flagship. Um, Pascal GPUs have been spotted in shipping now of course GP104 this is not going to be the end flagship the end game for the next generation of Nvidia GPUs that will be GP100 GP104 is like GM204 it's going to be the 780 or the or in this case the 1080 now of course when this comes out it's going to be uh, succeeded by a 1080 Ti or whatever the hell Nvidia calls its next generation of GPUs and that will be on GP100 but for now GP104 it should be a good it's obviously going to perform better than the GTX 980 is it going to outperform a GTX 980 Ti I don't really know I hope it at least matches it because we are moving on to a smaller 60 nanometer FinFET process by TSMC so you've got a more dense silicon chip however we really don't know. What is NVIDIA going to do? I mean, some are saying that NVIDIA absolutely uh, crippled Kepler's performance. Are they going to do the same with Maxwell and make GP104 look much better than it actually is? Who really knows? We're just going to have to wait and see. But I'm keen for GP104. I'm keen for Pascal. Pascal is what the people want. Arctic Hans is what the people want. It's going to be a great year of GPUs this year, man. And AMD and NVIDIA are going to be fucking hitting right, left, center. Of course, right for me is left for you guys. So that would have been very stupid to watch on screen. But anyway, look, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And comment down below what you think. I mean, this Pascal GPU is rumored to be around... 350 millimeters squared in size and it, the people are saying that look this is the most important thing people are saying it's going to be using gddr5x instead of hbm now that is very interesting because this is the flagship or the flagship until the ti version comes out and it's not even using hbm i'm not really sure that's what makes me a bit iffy about this report because you'd assume that, you know, maybe for the, the first few, maybe the first one or two cards, they'd use GDDR5X, and then maybe the, the second flagship, they'd use HBM, and then the top boy, the big boy, they'd use HBM2. Maybe they're saving that for the TI card. I mean, it's kind of disappointing that they won't even use HBM in GP104, but of course, this is still a rumor. We still don't know, so we're going to just have to wait and see. So look, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and look, the big K, we'll see you later. Bam.